In Niagara Falls, it's time to look around the house, do a little bit of spring cleaning and see if you have some unused items that your neighbors might just have some use for. Jeff Goroshki joins us to talk about the city's community curbside giveaway this weekend. Jeff, it's happening Saturday, not on the residents' uh, normal collection day. Yes, uh, we tend to do this. Event. It, it's a fairly new event that's been uh, developed by the Park and the City Committee, which is a volunteer committee of city council. And their mandate is to deal with environmental initiatives and active transportation. So we, we didn't want to reinvent the wheel with our, our members, but they did scatter around and research uh, different uh, initiatives that other communities are doing throughout Ontario, even around the world. Uh, this one came up here, so we decided to implement it but we were going to implement it, but COVID hit for the first time. So we did it last year. We found it very successful. It takes time to get off the ground. Uh, uh, the initiative just allows residents to take any uh, used items that they no longer want, but are in decent good shape, leave them out on the curb, and just let others to collect them. So this this takes away so much from our landfills. Like I remember reading a, a stat the other day, and I was, it was my boggle too, like around the world. There's uh, 1.75 uh, kilograms worth of waste is done by per person per day. It's like 1.6 pounds of uh, waste. So if we could divert that a little bit away from our landfills during these types of events, we'll go ahead and do so. Well, it's a great initiative when it comes to that, right? Because if you do have some old kitchen chairs that are still in working order, you might have some appliances sitting around that you're not using anymore. Why not put them out and see if somebody can make use of them? Well, most definitely, like there's there's people out there like for myself, I'm not a clutter uh, person, but my, for example, my wife is she might keep everything, but we tend to want to put stuff out onto our curb. Uh, why not do that to give something a bit more of a longer life shelf than you originally had intended for? This helps divert stuff away from our landfills, which is a great idea. Uh, people could uh, contribute uh, anywhere along in, in the city of Niagara Falls only. Just so I wanted to stress that because people might misconstrue that they're able to do it in their other municipalities. Along the Niagara region, though, it's just in the city of Niagara Falls. It's uh, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., uh, which is coming up this Saturday on April 16th. Uh, you can start taking out your items uh, starting at 7 a.m. Uh, you can take them out later if you wanted to. And if your items are not collected, uh, make sure you take them back in from the curb after 5 p.m. And that's important because it's not like garbage day pickup where if it's still there, perhaps the garbage truck will pick it up. That's a regional thing. Yes, that's it's definitely different. If you do have some larger items, uh, the Re Niagara region does have a contractor uh, that does all of our waste and recycling. Uh, you can contact them in advance, uh, at least two or three days in advance of your garbage pickup date, just to notify them that you ha do have some items that are going to be out there still on your curb. I think there's a maximum of four items, large items, uh, per pickup. You can check on the region's website, niagararegion.ca. Uh, for more information on our curbside giveaway, and there's a great video that uh, explains the whole event entirely. It's at niagarafallsca backslash curbside. You also have a Facebook page dedicated to this event where people can post some items and maybe start their shopping list. It's a great opportunity where people can get ahead of the game, as you said, Mike, and pre-post their items that they have available. Uh, there's there's people that are lurking, looking for certain items, for example, like fish tanks or collector items that they want to seek out there that are posting it as well. We get a vast uh, collection of information on the event's uh, Facebook page, so please visit there as well. And just in case your uh, items are not picked up that day, you, you take them back, but you still don't want them. You're looking for a location that you're to get rid of them uh, think about a, of a local charity maybe you have uh, goodwill or niagara furniture bank post them on kijiji post them on the facebook marketplace there's still tons of people that want these types of items that you're looking to give away and um and take it from there